Well, no action on a resolution tonight to make Winston-Salem a welcoming city. The council member promoting it, pulling it from the agenda to pursue another approach. Democratic Council Member Dan Bessie still insists his resolution is legal and doesn't make Winston-Salem a sanctuary city, something state law doesn't allow. After tonight's meeting, Bessie said he plans to broaden his approach to shore up support for his welcoming city idea, not only from fellow council members, but also from community leaders and possibly other electeds. Telling reporters tonight more support might make state lawmakers think twice about what he calls intimidation and their threat threats to Winston-Salem to back down. They wouldn't just be threatening a city council. Uh, if they tried to retaliate against an entire community's leadership coming together in support of newcomers, uh, they're talking about a very different issue. Bessie said his welcoming city resolution could take a different form down the road, though he wouldn't say what it could look like or when the public would see it. Tonight, people for and against the resolution reacting to Bessie's move. Perhaps you're going to go back and take a look at this, but we know that this is something that it can't be watered down more than it already is. I don't know. I really don't know what to think about it. I don't know whether they're just putting it off or, but if they, you know, had the meeting again about it, I'll show up again. Supporters of the welcoming city resolution held a press conference and rally earlier tonight, nearly 100 people on the steps of City Hall. Now forced to wait for what could be another resolution and another round in this divisive debate. Reporting in Winston-Salem, I'm Samina Engel, WXII 12 News.